Hey, thanks for checking out my channel if this is your first time here. And if not, that means you're a subscriber and you've come back for more. That means I love you. I'm easy to please. I'm John Stark from ActTheMovieGuy.com, and today we're going to talk about Catherine Called Birdie. Uh, I'm a blind film critic. <laughs> Spoiler alert! So, uh, this is from my perspective, which means I need audio description in order to make this work for me. And uh, today's audio description was narrated by Jerace McLaughlin, who I don't think I've ever heard narrate anything before. If so, she's not been in the credits, because when I heard that name, I was like, what? <laughs> I actually caught it really quickly and I was able to rewind, thank God, on Amazon. <laughs> Um, so I could go back through and be like, what, what, <laughs> what was the name? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm so used to just hearing just one of the standards and, uh, every time somebody new pops up, I'm like, oh, they're breaking in. Somebody's breaking into the business. Uh, so, uh, the audio description on this was really pretty good. Uh, if I had to make a quick note about it, it would just be that this is a period piece and I suppose I thought there would be more focus on costumes, uh, since this takes place in a, in a period in which I'm sure, I mean, let's be honest, if this film is going to be up for any Oscars this year, it's going to be in, like, costume design or production design. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I thought it would be, but this film just kind of, the, the description just treats it like any other film. Uh, so it doesn't really spend a whole lot of time talking about whatever elaborate dresses um, they may or may not be wearing. So if you think that you're coming here for a period drama, comedy, uh, and you want those lush descriptions, the, uh, that doesn't happen. It's just like any other film as if they were wearing regular clothes that are very nondescript and, and not too special to talk about. Not that they never mention clothes saying that. I'm just saying there isn't a strong presence. Uh, <laughs> it's not like they're like, oh, everybody's walking around nude, I guess. Um, so this film stars Bella Ramsey as, you guessed it, <laughs> Catherine, who is called Birdie <laughs> in the film. Uh, even in the narration, she is actually called Birdie uh, when we follow her character around. So, um, She's a young 14-year-old girl who really, really, really does not want to get married. Uh, she really does not want her life to begin in, in this 13th, 14th century period where uh, daughters just get married off to whoever. Like, whoever's got money, power, uh, land, uh, whatever kind of strategic positioning... Uh, they've got really old dudes married to really young women in this. Uh, they've got a woman who's being betrothed possibly to a child. <laughs> like, I think I picked up on that. I was like, so it was like the other way around, where they, they were like Game of thrones it. They were promising to a, a much younger person. Um, so uh, it's... But it mostly focuses on the, oh god, I don't want to sleep with somebody in their 80s. Please don't make me do that. <laughs> Um, Bertie even gets to joke about how, uh, the day after his mother died was when his dad, uh, sent away for a mail order <laughs> bride. Her, uh, stepmother is just, was like shipped here from somewhere else. So he didn't need, there was no grieving period. He just immediately was like, give me more. I need more women. Um, <laughs> so she didn't even get, didn't even get that grieving period. Which she still, I think, is kind of going through and has this sort of weird relationship with her stepmom. Uh, this film has kind of a an interesting supporting cast. I would say uh, Andrew Scott, I think, is one name that's going to get people aroused uh, for, for fans of a certain series. Um, and uh, I'm not surprised that Lena Dunham's working with Andrew Scott. That doesn't surprise me at all. But um, we've got Billy Piper is in this. Uh, Sophie Okonedo, um, just uh, a bunch of sort of like random names uh, throughout the film. So uh, yeah, but it's it's mostly it's on Bella Ramsey to sell this. 
uh, because she is the lead character and it also has a lot of narration to do. Uh, a lot of her inner thoughts, uh, a lot of just talking to us, like breaking the fourth wall kind of about her life. Um, and it's told from a very sort of current perspective, um, but in an very much of the period way. So the way we would think about things and be horrified by them, um, she's horrified by them too. It's trying to, to draw that thread, that connective string between things we may or may not uh, have thought about back in the period and, and what they have to go through. Um, one of the things that I, for example, that I thought was interesting was her having to hide her, um, they didn't have tampons back in the day, right? So they're just using cloth down there and she's hiding them because she doesn't want her dad to know that she's of womanhood. I guess you have to have your first period or whatever to be considered, uh, at least we're at least at that point in civilization where, <laughs> where a woman has to be a woman, um, in order to be married off. So it's, She's trying to delay that as much as possible. Um, and that's, I mean, that's kind of the vibe that Lena Dunham is going for here. Uh, if you, if you like other Lena Dunham things, you might like this. I'm not a huge Lena Dunham fan. I'm not like, oh my God, Lena Dunham made this. Uh, and this film kind of fell flat for me. I'm not going to say I never laughed or I never found something amusing. Um, it, it, I did, but uh, for long periods of time, I just kind of sat in the film and was like, Ugh. I don't know, you know? I don't know if this film was for me. I don't know if if, if maybe that was it, because I didn't think the film was bad. I just had kind of a almost a non-reaction to it at times. It just didn't do anything for me. It didn't make me hate it. It didn't make me like it. Um, I was kind of bored. Uh, I just, I didn't think anybody in the film was profoundly amazing enough in any role that it was just like blowing me away. I wasn't like, oh, this performance is great. Uh, <laughs> I was just, I was just kind of like, there's a film. We made a film. Cool. Thanks. I mean, it's not terrible. It's also not good. Um, that's where I'm at is, uh, I think this is probably the literal definition of average. If, uh, if I come out at the end of the year and I'm like, what's right in the middle, this will be it. <laughs> this will be right in the middle of the year. This will be the turning point of, uh, everything above it is good. Everything below it is bad. I think this is that film that, that just locks right in there as being the, the film that gave me a neutral reaction that uh, had just enough working against it, I guess, to not make me interested, but just enough working for it to keep me watching it. Um, so take that for what you will. I don't even know really what that means, but that is that is my reaction. Um, I didn't. I can't even really say that I loved the music or that I loved the sound design. There just really wasn't a lot to this film that I loved. I did have to sit and listen through the credits, and I noticed that Bella Ramsey was credited for a song that she sings in the movie, and I was like, oh, well, maybe it'll be up for original song. I don't think so, but you never know. Um, who knows? Who knows why this film happened? I think just Lena Dunham is why this film happened. I don't know why she chose to make it, uh, but she did, and it's out there. Um, and I'm sure somebody out there will love it, so... Somebody who loves period pieces, uh, who enjoys perhaps looking at it, the lushness, or I don't know, maybe not lushness of it. These people are not exactly rich, so it could be the antithesis of that. I don't know who this movie is for, so <laughs> I'm not recommending it, and I'm not not recommending it. But uh, that's, those are my thoughts. Anyway, it's on Amazon, and... Uh, I'm going to give it a grade now. So I'm going to give Catherine called Birdie a C. 
because that's an average. That's just, that's exactly what that means. Average, right down the middle. Um, there you go. Anyway, uh, if you like this review, I'm trying to get to 100 by the end of the year, so it'd be great if you could subscribe so that I could do that. Uh, also, you can visit my website, MacTheMovieGuy.com, for more information. You can also follow me on Twitter, at MacTheMovieGuy. You can go to the audio description project, adp.acb.org. It'll let you know what has audio description where you can watch it. And uh, you can go to the adna.org. And you can see whether or not this narrator has done anything before that you are familiar with. So, um, maybe she has. Anyway, that's it for me today. And uh, I gotta go review something else. You guys are so demanding. And uh, I'll see you on the other side.